Ray makes it sound really serious. And that's like Harley adding her. That's like Harley adding her. Don't worry, I'm in this too. Sorry, I just hit the microphone against my head several times. I don't want to see this movie. <laughs> I really don't. I just, I, I got annoyed with Suicide Squad. Not because the theater was like full of people who wear Hot Topic shirts and some people dressed as Joker and Harley reciting the lines because they've seen the movie like the 500th time. I just didn't want to see it. <laughs> I I just I I don't I don't want to see this movie. I just rather. <laughs> well, you try sitting in a th- you try sitting in a theater with people. You know, Joker. Don't worry, Harley. I'll take you home. We got a bear rug and. Grape soda on ice. I just want to be like, can I just fucking kill you? <laughs> can I just do that Batman snapping Joker's neck from Injustice Comics? Please. <laughs> I, I just didn't like this movie. I didn't like Suicide Squad. And I know I got a lot of shit from people <laughs> who love that movie, but I'm sorry. I just had to criticize. I just had to say what I felt about that movie. I just had to. It is just... It is so awful. It just... It made me... It just made me think of a a person named Jesse Ventura. Who once said to Larry King, Have you been waterboarded? Well, I have. It's like drowning. (laughs) That's how I described the movie. (laughs) By the way, that's my Jesse Ventura impression somewhat because <laughs> I, I I love Jesse Ventura he's a hero <laughs> I love that one show Conspiracy Theories with Jesse Ventura it was a brilliant show I love that show <laughs> it's just it just yeah. It was just the most brilliant thing I have ever heard. I think this is it right here. I got the clip. Uh, too early to tell, Larry, really. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, George Bush is the worst president in my lifetime. Have an opinion. We, I, mean, I will. You come, you I will. And uh, he's the worst president in my lifetime. So, Barack Obama, President Obama, inherited something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. You know. T- <laughs> I just love that, like how he puts it. Yeah. You know. Anyway. So, I wouldn't, I, I, I tell you, like, if they ever had to find new torture for people, put on Suicide Squad, you'll get answers out of those people. <laughs> I'm not saying torture people with Suicide Squad. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> it's just... Okay, just Jared Leto, I'd have him watch Suicide Squad. I would love to sit in a room with Jared Leto and watch Suicide Squad and be like, explain to me how is that art? And don't even say like you shaved your eyebrows. Whoopi Goldberg's been doing it for 60 years, man. She's been shaving her eyebrows for every episode of The View. Don't tell me that's art. She was good in uh, Ghost, by the way. One thing that makes no sense in this movie, uh, hearing about birds of prey and stuff. Um, for example, here's the synopsis of the film. 
Alright. The synopsis is a, sequ- is a suicide spinoff. Just by that, suicide spinoff, I, I, I have a bad, bad feeling about this. After splitting up with the Joker, Harley and her three other female superheroes time out. How is Harley a superhero? Can can someone explain to me how Harley is a superhero? Isn't she like an anti-hero or something? Like, how is she a superhero? Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya. How? Wait a minute. R- Renee Montoya is a GC GCPD officer. She's a detective. She doesn't become a superhero until she becomes the question. So how how is she how is she a superhero? Can can someone explain that to me? Like it makes no sense put Renee Montoya in this. It's just like why didn't you just get uh, Katana back? I know she's in the show The Boys, which she's awesome in that. But it's like why didn't you bring Katana into the Birds of Prey. She is a member of Birds of Prey. Why couldn't it just be like Harley shows up where Katana is and be like, hey, can you help me out with this? I'm setting up a group. I don't know how to do it. Help me out. And Katana agrees to help her because she sort of likes Harley as a friend. You know. Then Black Canary and Huntress, they all get together and they come together to save the life of a little girl. And you look at a photo of her, she is no little girl. Cassandra Kane from an evil crime lord. Aside from Robbie and Bosco, who's in, I don't know the film. The cast includes Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress, Black Canary played by Junerni Smollett, Bell. By the way, I found out that Jesse Somet, Somet is being investigated by uh, on that stupid crime thing, so that's good news. Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. Victor Zaz, played by Chris Minissa. I never heard of him. And Rosie Perez, plays Renee Montoya. I wonder if they're going to have Gordon in this. Just a question, by the way. I love this. There's no comments on this article. <laughs> Even people were just like, fuck this movie. <laughs> you do a great Jesse Ventura impression. Thank you for your service. <laughs> just That's literally what he said once to Jim Norton. So... On Opie and Anthony. I just laughed my ass off because I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> I know. People are probably like, what the fuck is Jesse Ventura? <laughs> I just love Opie and Anthony show, so. It's what inspired this podcast, by the way. Even though I'm not good as them, so. I just really like their show and just kind of want to add humor to comic books and stuff. Yeah, I heard about he did uh, Batman Telltale playthrough. I don't really care. Oh, for those who are wondering, the YouTuber that had my original Twitter, my personal original Twitter account shut down, decided to do a Batman telltale playthrough it's kind of stupid it's kind of funny though that was like the whole argument where I got banned off of Twitter and he's now playing the Batman telltale playthrough I don't really care I watched part of it he sucks at that game (laughs) couldn't react quickly to gunshots and a, um, a gunshot or criminal hitting him I don't know what to tell you Do you think they'll ever do a Batman Telltale Season 3? Um, 
I don't think so, unfortunately. I don't know. <laughs> Laughing emoji. I, by the way, I'm reading the uh, the chat. My producer is writing it, so. So. Um. Did you play the Batman VR? I I didn't. I watched some. I watched the one guy who does angry video game nerd stuff play it, and it looked really awesome. I don't have a PlayStation Four, so I didn't play. I don't. I never got around to playing it. It looks awesome. It's it looks awesome, but it's like I don't think I could wear those because I would probably end up with a headache. I did wear like VR goggles when the uh, din- the ninja at Six Flags did it, and uh, I ended up with a headache. <laughs> Besides my head being like you know hit like a pinball between the safety guard things, you know where you it's like strapped over you. It was not fun. <laughs> Plus, it didn't really work like the VR thing on the ride because it, like, it worked and it froze and or it just didn't work at all. And it was very stupid. Uh, I know they were trying to do something new, but it's like it's kind of pointless. Anyway, uh, speaking of Six Flags, they are. Going to get a new coaster, I think. Six Flags St. Louis. And I love the the image where they just put the cats out of the bag. I just went like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know where they're going with that. I I hope it's cat it's gonna be it has to be Catwoman. I think it it has to be. A Catwoman ride. I think it'd be perfect or perfect for a Catwoman ride. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that you know, I know that the uh, Six Flags La Ronda might be getting a a Green Lantern type ride from uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Perfect. <laughs> Here it is. Um, Six Flags St. Louis is getting somewhat new oddity. They do not have a RMC coaster like Six Flags Great Discovery. However, some people are thinking they are going to get a Ride that's like Wonder Woman and uh, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, except it'll be a Wonder Woman, not a Wonder Woman theme, but it'll be a Catwoman theme. Which I'm just like, you're damn right, it better be a Catwoman theme ride. If they bring in a Wonder Woman ride, I am not going. I just, I'd rather, rather not go. Because it, it has to be a Catwoman ride. It has to be, because <laughs> it's it'd be awesome though. Because it just has to be instead of like the Wonder Woman colors, which is like red and yellow. It has to be purple and black. It has to be perfect, purple and black. That's that's the dream ride in my head. Good, that's right. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you, Cat Mama. I, I have to say it has to be Catwoman ride, so... Because it has the cat with the pearl necklace and a bag. So it immediately is like, that is a Catwoman image. Because you look at it, you're like, it has to be a Catwoman ride, so... I, I'm i excited for it. Uh, I'm excited for... Uh, by the way, it's Six Flags Over Texas. Uh, congratulations to uh, Savage Mister on YouTube. He has 6,000 subscribers. He is one of the coolest dudes on YouTube. I, I love his videos. I think he does a fantastic job. Uh, if you're wondering if he covered the Six Flags Over Texas, if you're in Six Flags Texas, he did post a video 
Um, he did get some good shots, I think. He